Hi, in this short tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to use the OpenAI integration inside Rose to clean up data and do a lot of automation on top of different types of data. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the OpenAI integration installed. So if you go here to the top to integrations and open it, you'll see the gallery with all of the integrations that you can install, one of them being OpenAI. So you'll go here and connect integration. In this case, it's already connected, but in your case, you'll have to connect integration if you don't have it yet. And as you add the integration, the only thing you'll need is to put your API key. Right? If you don't have an API key, you can just create an account at OpenAI and then grab your API key from here and we'll link it here. So you can just log in in the settings, view API keys and then copy it from here. And once you connect integration, basically all of the actions become available and you can start using OpenAI inside rows, which basically means that you have the power of OpenAI and ChatGPT, but the flexibility of using it in a spreadsheet and the components that make a spreadsheet special and just overall very flexible. So I have here a few examples of how to clean up different types of data that might be relevant for different types of people. One of them is, for example, addresses, company names, capitalizing data, etc. So we'll see them in just about a moment. But first, how do you use data from OpenAI? How do you import data? How do you transform it inside rows? There's two ways. One of them is you can type to any cell and do equals OpenAI. And then you'll start seeing all of the different formulas that we have available for OpenAI. The one that we will use the most today in this tutorial is Apply Task OpenAI, where essentially you give it what type of automation you want to do on top of what type of text, and you will run that automation. The second way of doing it is through the Actions panel. So if you go here in Actions, you can essentially see the different ways that you have to importing data. So how to import data from all of these integrations, picking the different actions and doing it from here. Or you can also access the AI directly from here. So with Solve OpenAI, you'll see here all the different actions that you can do inside OpenAI. And if we enter, for example, the cleanup or execute the task on data, you'll see that we have a guided wizard for you to kind of know what parameters exist, how to use it, etc. In this case, the two, the two mandatory parameters are the task, essentially what do you want to do, and the text, what do you want to apply this rule for, and then a few more advanced parameters on OpenAI on how creative do you want the model to be, do you want to set a maximum number of tokens or words for the response, and what model you want to use. By default, we're using chat, the GPT 3.5 Turbo, but you can pick any other model. Right. So let's run through these examples. Here, let's say that you have a list of addresses and they all have different components. The, they, don't ha they don't have a fixed logic. It's all a bit fuzzy, but you want to extract the zip code and the state from it. So all you have to do in this case is apply task OpenAI. What we want to do is extract the zip code and then the text is A2. And here you start seeing the flexibility of using this inside a spreadsheet. You can reference different cells that you basically means that you, when you drag things down, it also reflects these changes on the cell references. And for the state, exactly the same. So apply task OpenAI, extract state name from A2. And now we will drag this down and you will see how this will apply for the different you see here it already extracted the zip code and then the state Washington DC. And what it did is it dragged the formula with a new cell reference. And so this logic of applying a task, you can use it for a lot of different things. You can use it to extract elements from inside a piece of text, which is what we did here. You can use it to clean up data in different ways. So in this case, if you have a list of leads, for example, of companies that you've scraped from somewhere or got from an event, for example, but you're not interested in the legal jargon, you can just come here and use OpenAI for that. In this case, we're saying remove the legal entity abbreviations like GmbH, Inc, etc, emojis, and you'll see how it is applying that. And so here, Rose GmbH is removing the legal naming, and then it's going to remove the LLC and the emoji as well, and you get the cleanup name. And this is really interesting then if you want to combine it with other things, for example, finding the domain of this company or sending this as a contact in Salesforce. So then you can build all of these on top of it or just share it with your team. You can do it for other text-based actions like capitalizing words. So in this case, we have all of these and I can capitalize using just capitalize the words, right? Or I can actually do more creative things like turning words into emojis, turning countries into emojis. So basically you can play around with different types of rules that you wanna add. In this case, I'm applying a task of just returning the emoji for each emotion, sad, cool, 
happy and you'll see how we'll kind of basically generate the emojis that she thinks most well represent this. Another very interesting use case is applying these rules for classification as well. So if you want to clean up addresses, for example, email addresses, and you want to classify quickly, is this a personal email address, is this a company email address? This is one of the cases to use this as well. In this case, we're using apply task OpenAI, classify this email provider address as personal or company, and then you'll see that the gmail.com is classifying as a personal email address, but then an apple.com, paypal.com is telling us that it's kind of a company one as well. So you'll see how there are different ways of applying this logic. To start exploring, again, you can create a new table, start with OpenAI and see all of the things that you can do. If you want to have the guided wizard action, you can also just come here and set up the action here on the right side. For additional guides and documentation on OpenAI, you can actually come here to our documentation center, start typing OpenAI, and then you will come across all of the different guides on how to do this. So classifying customer feedback has all of the examples, step-by-step -step approach on how to do all of these things in the examples for the formulas. So this is it. Now you can start using OpenAI to automate a lot of cleaning up data, data extraction, classification inside rows. Thank you and good luck.